they really take this religion very seriously. I have friends who go out and party on Saturday night. They don't sleep the whole night and they come to the church on Sunday morning and stand with a candle for three hours. And another thing is I've never managed to stand the whole service in an Orthodox church uh, because the incense is so strong. And you will definitely be able to send some even if they don't have a, they don't have a service. It's so strong it makes me feel like throwing up. So there, that's another problem. In winter it gets freezing cold there inside. In uh, summer it's super hot. We had 41 degrees. And still you're standing with these candles. So basically the stone does the opposite to what it's supposed to do. When it's hot it's even hotter. When it's cold it's even colder. And they actually really enjoy ex expressing their devotion in such a way. So now let's go inside. You can actually take a look at this church and I have head scarves for ladies. Oh, I forgot to tell you more about Saint Nino. So before it, uh, yeah. Before he starts, Saint Nino is the woman I mentioned who came from Cappadocia in 4th century. So how many centuries before or after the was converted? Exactly. Thank you, Philip. Philip is actually such a beautiful name, one of the names I would give to my son. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why I can't remember it. Thank you, Philip. One century before the police was started. She came from Cappadocia, so region in Turkey, and she decided to uh, bring Christianity to Georgia. But on her way here, she forgot one very important thing. What do you need? What kind of a weapon do you need if you want to make a country Christian? The cross? Bible. Cross. Exactly. cross. You need a cross. And she forgot her cross on her way here. But being a very resourceful young lady, and this is a wine country, she took two grapevine branches and she tied them up with her hair. And that is what the traditional Georgian cross looks like. It's always crooked. It's not straight, it's crooked. And you can see it everywhere. There was one of the entrance here in this, this backyard. You will see it inside. And in every church, you can always recognize St. Nino. She's in every church. She's holding this crooked cross. And you can even see the hairs, like they're painted. Uh, if you travel around Georgia, you will see this cross on the mountains. Uh, they're carrying it around the neck. So inside we have two St. Nino's, a big one and a small one, and obviously we have a St. George. He's also in every church. So try to find them once you're inside. And here we go. Thank you. 